Let's jump into your message and see what this 911 message is about. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right, guys. Let's see what this 911 message is about. I was getting a, a message about some sort of deception. Someone feels deceived. Someone feels like they're losing something here. Like losing the love of their life. Like losing their happiness. The Four of Cups. So it's like they had this. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like it's going back to the message this morning about um, losing their opportunity. So with this Four of Cups, they had this beautiful chance, this beautiful opportunity. They had something in their grasp and they let it get away because something else glittered and they thought it was gold. Oh my gosh, that phrase. And now they're missing that treasure that they had because it's not until they lost it that they truly realize how they were being deceived how they were deceiving themselves. What else is going on with this 911 message, please? What else should we know, please? Three of coins, ace of swords. So something is definitely not working out for this person or these persons. Something is definitely not working out. There's some truth that they need to see, some truth that needs to be revealed. There's communication coming in as well. This person may have even lost their job here. They may, they may have even lost their job. But there's something happening within this person that's making them feel like they've lost their happiness. They're coming to some sort of truth and revelation in regards to what true happiness is. It's like they weren't focused on the right thing before. You have the death. They weren't focused focus on the right thing before. And that's why they were betrayed. That's why they even betrayed themselves. Because they told themselves that whatever it is that they're hanging on to, that they're going back to, was so precious, more precious than whatever it is that made them happy. The Divine Feminine, of course. Something is definitely going to be revealed, I tell you. Someone is going to be finding out some kind of truth. About someone, something, some place, could be something at a job, someone at a job. But it's not until after they figure this out will they have their new start. And this showed up in their message as well before. Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Look what is look what's what keep coming around. Nine of Cups. Nine of Coins. This person may be setting themselves free from, from somebody, someone they were attached to. So it could be a job, it could be someone, it could be their insecurities. But whatever it is, they are detaching from that situation. The Page of Swords. They are seeing exactly who you are. They are seeing exactly what it is that they are missing. They are seeing where exactly lies their happiness. 646. They're going to communicate some truth to you, Divine Feminine. They're going to communicate some truth. Four of coins. They were hanging on to something. Whatever they were hanging on to, it, it's, it's, it, 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 like, like it got turned over. It, it's, it, it's not fulfilling anymore. They're not happy. They have thought about this situation a lot. Justice. They're, they're not receiving anything good from the situation they're hanging on to. Nothing. They're not feeling fulfilled. They're not feeling grounded. They're not feeling like everything is in order. They're not feeling like their life is in control. Because there's some kind of lies being told here. Whether it's to themselves or somebody telling them. The seven of coins. 
So yeah, it's like no matter how much they are trying to push forward to make things grow, to reach for their abundance, it's not happening. It's not happening because they are being lied to or they're lying to themselves. Eight of Swords. I think they're lying to themselves. You got the Eight of Swords. You got the Eight of Swords. They're lying to themselves as to where their happiness lies. They're keeping themselves stuck. Your Divine Masculines are covering up their faults. Covering up the truth with lies. Not telling you the truth. Not showing their true self, not revealing their true self. Not telling you that you are the most precious thing to them in the world. You make them so happy. They're not telling you. They're not telling you how they truly feel. Seven of Swords. See that? There was deception here. I think this deception is... It's coming to an end like I said it no longer exists those cups are empty the lies are about to come the lies are about to come true <laughs> the truth is gonna be revealed the lies will be revealed the truth will be revealed Can I say it again the truth will be revealed here and again, it's two energies I'm getting. Like It's like the truth in regards to how others were deceiving them, it will be revealed. And the truth in regards to how they truly feel about you, it will be revealed. Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups. Yeah. Whatever is going to happen here, whatever is going to happen here, it's like an epiphany. It's like that sudden change, that Torah moment. But whatever is going to happen here, you're, it's going to cause your divine masculine to be so, so, um, what's the word, man? Dedicated to this new life, to this new start, to their true happiness. See, something is ending. They're cutting people off. They're cutting things off so they can move to that calmer water, so they, so they can move towards their happiness. Knight of Coins. They're almost the emperors. Knight of Coins. They're getting things in order. They're getting things under control. They're becoming firmer with their decisions, with their actions. More dedicated to what they want. That new start. See, now we are being shown how they're moving towards their passion. Yes! The sun! Like, like, what's the purpose in me hiding about the way I truly feel? What's the purpose about me hiding my true feelings from this person? Not telling them that they're the ones who made me truly happy. Ignoring the fact that they're the ones that truly made me happy. Yeah, and now they're suffering. Now they're suffering. Queen of Swords. There's clarity that's being revealed. Your divine masculine decide like they are they are now in that feminine energy where they where they're able to feel. Put more into their feeling and they're also thinking straight more logical four of swords they couldn't see anything there was something wrong with them <laughs> there was something wrong with them they, they weren't healed they weren't healed that's why they couldn't see the truth then there you go now with the king of wands now they can see the truth now they have that passion and desire to move forward now they're gonna push through this person has a a, a tunnel vision right now and at the end of the tunnel is a Divine Feminine. Yeah. What did I say? At the end of the tunnel is who? Their Divine Feminine. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Their perfect match. Their perfect match. They have tunnel vision for you. Queen of Coins, King of Coins. You're both balanced. And this is what's causing that massive change within this person or these persons. Keep on working on yourselves, Divine Feminine. It's working. You don't have to see it to know it's there. Actually, 
when you know it's there and you don't see it, when you have that faith, when you trust in God, that's when your situation works out the best for you. Because God sees that this person truly trusts me, no matter what the situation looks like. And he's going to reward you. He's going to reward you. Take care of yourselves, guys. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site 